word problems. And these children, we did word problems about combining before. Today we look at ones that are called ones about separating. And this one is going to be separating. Separating problems look like this. Separating problems, the book tells you, they usually look like this. You have some, and then some goes away, or some is taken away, some went away. And then what you have left, we call what is left. An example is, I started with some fifth graders, the girls went away, what is left? Okay, that would be a separating, you're taking a whole of something, you know, and either removing part or cutting it into whatever things or some goes away. Here is a, for example, for instance, Bob had $28. Bob had $28. He spent 12 How much was left? Now that's pretty easy. If you put it into our little pattern that we look at, you know how much he starts with? We should probably put starts here. How much did he start with? He had $28. How much went away? How much did he spend? $12. And they want to know how much was left. And this is a pretty simple one because it is just a straight up subtraction problem. But just because it is a subtraction pattern problem, don't think that every time you have to subtract you get the answer. And we're saying right now, hmm, show me a time when maybe I don't. Yes, let's do that. Write this one down. Tim, Tim, or time. Tim, Tim, after, sorry, after Tim lost 234 pounds. <laughs> Tim the elephant Tim the elephant still weighed 4368 pounds still weighed 4638 pounds How much did he weigh before losing the weight? How much did he start weighing? And again, I would like for you very much to think in terms of what the, the, the pattern that we put in there where you have your start, you have your sum going away. And then you have your leftover. Which of those do I know and what do I not know? What does I not know? What do I not know? What don't I know? Do we know how much the elephant started? Do we know how much went away? Do we know how much is left right now? What do we know here? Let's look at this first one. After the elephant lost 234 pounds, where would that fit of these three things? Is that what he started out weighing, or is that how much went away, or is that how much he has he weighs now? Well, once going twice, going three times, you think it is probably what? Is that what the elephant started weighing? Did he start weighing 234 pounds? Is that how much pounds veg went away, or is that how much he weighs now? Right? Which one do you think that is? 234. If you lose something, what is that? How much went away, how much you started with, how much you finished with? 
Luke. Yeah, it went away. He lost 234. His 4,638 is how much he found, how much he started weighing, or how much he weighed after all this, the smoke cleared in the final, how much was left over. Right. Yes, where does that go? Is that how much was left over or how much he started with? Was left over. 4,638 pounds. And we don't know what he started weighing, so we'll put a W up here. Now, what did I tell you? Anytime you're missing something in a subtraction problem, what are you supposed to do? The multi billion dollar question. Don't tell me you add, subtract, multiply, or divide just yet. Ella? Think of an easy subtraction problem. Let's just do 8 minus 2 is 6. Because that will tell you what you should do. If I don't know the top here, if I didn't know this was an 8, what do I do to these two to get 8? Add them. So that's what I'm going to do to these two is add them. 4, 6, 3, 8, plus 2, 3, 4. Looks like Tim the elephant weighed 4,872 pounds to start off with. That's what that means. You kind of get the kind of the gist there? Uh -huh. we always get the gist. Let's do one more. 400 runners started the race. 400 started the race. Uh -huh. Some runners dropped out due to dehydration or excessive pain. Some dropped out because it's a marathon. Uh, 287 finished the race. 287 finished the race. How many dropped out? Again, so I challenge you to think of uh, this is our separating. We're separating people into groups that people that started the race and some that dropped out. So when we do that, we have started minus the ones that went away would give you the ones that were left. Which of those do we know? Do you know how many started the race? I know it's a tough question. Sarah, how many started the race? Do we know? Read the first three words. Started the race. How many started the race? 400. Do we know how many went away or how many dropped out? Is there a number given here? What's it say? Some dropped out, I don't know. I'll put the minus for letter D. Do we know how many finished the race or were left at the end? One? Two hundred and eighty seven. Two hundred and eighty seven finished the race. They were left. Now, next thing I would have to do then, Madison, is to that is exactly right. Think of an easier problem. You got one? What's an easy problem? Is and if you're missing the middle here, missing this, what do I do with five and three to get two? Subtract. So that's what I'm going to do with my other numbers over there. Four hundred minus two eighty-seven. Everybody's happy. This is ten. That's nine. That's ten. Three. One. One. One hundred thirteen. Were how many? Doesn't sound too complicated, children.